President of Florida State University, John Thrasher. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, good afternoon, Coach Normal and, and your lovely wife, Maria. We're so glad to have you and me uh, here today. Uh, what, a, what, a, what a wonderful, wonderful day for Florida State University. Thank you all for joining us today. It's uh, special, special to have all of you here. Um, as you know, uh, we're here to introduce our new head football coach. Yeah. Now, I want to be, from a Florida State standpoint, the first to congratulate you, Coach, on winning the ACC championship and yeah. taking your team to the Cotton Bowl. Yeah. How about that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Before I, I, uh, I do so, I want to take a few moments to express my appreciation to David Coburn. David and I have been on a journey the last couple of weeks, a few journeys um, around the country, uh, places I had never been, and the press reported about places I will never go to. <laughs> but that's, that's, that's all right. Everything turned out all right, but I appreciate David's involvement in the thorough search and his incredible uh, de attention to detail. Uh, when you have what we believe is still the best coaching job in America, the search is not really easy. I also want to thank my chairman, chairman of our board of trustees, Ed Burr, for his support, his counsel, and his incredible guidance during this period of time. I also want to thank the chairman of the board of uh, Seminole Brewsters, uh, Bob Davis, Andy Miller, Jimmy Graganella, I was never short on advice. I can <laughs> I promise you that. Never short on advice. I uh, I want to thank obviously all of the Seminole boosters who are here. I know many of them are here, Coach. You'll get to know them as as you get involved in this a little bit more. We have an exciting group of Seminole boosters. They're passionate. They care about this university. They care about the future of our football program, and I believe they will find very quickly that our football program is in excellent hands with Coach Norval. We do. And I'd be remiss, and I know Coach Norval feels this way because we've talked a lot about it. And by the way, he and I and David have spent over four hours together. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot of time in life, but when you're hiring a football coach, I promise you, it's a heck of a long time. And I watched him, uh, I watched his passion, I watched his his interest in this university and the young men who are here, obviously the young men who he's leaving behind in Memphis, but I also watched him do X's and O's. And DeVoe, I can, I can actually call a couple plays now. I really can. <laughs> I really can. Coach Norville taught me that. You should have done fantastic, that fantastic job of, of demonstrating his incredible ability uh, to call offensive plays. I think we saw it last night. In terms of the search itself, uh, before I leave though, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about o Odell. Odell Hagens, um, and I, I, I love Odell Hagens. I know you all do too, but I love him. He's an incredible man. He's an extraordinary leader of young people, of our student athletes and the, the program itself. And he came forward, he came forward for the second time when we needed him the most. And he performed with great, great, ability and great pride for this university and great caring for the young men who are on our football team. So Odell, I know he's not here right now, but I hope all of you will give, join me in thanking him for everything he's done. In terms of the search itself, I think we saw an imaginative side of our media, particularly the social media over the past three weeks in terms of understated rumors. Uh, but I can assure you that the search, the search itself was professionally done. And it has resulted in what I believe will, will be an incredible coach for Florida State University. And I wanna thank, he's right there on the front row, Glenn Sukiyama, who came to us from Chicago from an internationally known firm that, that works in this business. He opened doors, he, arranged visits that before we would have probably never had the opportunity to do without him. It was a comprehensive search. We vetted a number of coaches from around the country. And Glenn, thank you for everything you did. I appreciate it so much. Please stand up, let everybody see you.
That boy can eat too. I just leave, I'll leave it at that. Believe it or not, he can eat. But I want to. I want to. I want to leave you before I introduce David. I want to leave you with one one other thing though about that search. This gentleman right here, Coach Coach Mike Norell, was the only person that I offered the head coaching job for Florida State University too, and I couldn't be prouder to be accepted. He matches our profile of an outstanding coach who shares our values at Florida State. He's earned a reputation for coaching players to not only be successful on the field, but certainly in the classroom as well, as well as in the community. And I know he'll carry that over to Florida State. I'm excited for you to meet him. So at this time, I would call on our athletic director, my good friend of many, many years, and uh, my constant companion during this search, uh, David Coburn. David. Thank you very much. Um, I do want to start by thanking Jim Curry for his help in this search, and actually all the staff from the athletics department. A lot of people have worked a lot of hours these last three or four weeks, and I really appreciate all of them. Um, again, about Odell, I, the only thing bigger on Odell than his head is his heart, and, and he's given everything to us, and we really do appreciate Odell Higgins um, for everything. And Glenn, um, I'll say it again, thank you for your help, uh, your professionalism, the breadth of your contacts made all the difference in the world, and we couldn't have gotten it done without you, and we really do appreciate you, man, really. Um, I have to tell you that uh, this past month I've gotten an object lesson in just how important this job is to this community. Um, I got a haircut last week. I went home. Mary didn't like it. She's fussing at me. I said, that's what happens when you won't tell the barber who the head coach is. <laughs> um, but we had a lot of interest in this job, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of interest. And Coach Norvell was one of the first people we interviewed, and, uh, and he was the last one. And in between, we met with a lot of coaches. And uh, after every day of interviews, the president and I would, uh, would sit down and say, well, we kept coming back to the Norvell guy. Mm -hmm. From the very beginning, we really liked him, and that impacted us the whole way. Um, many of those coaches we talked to were impressive, but none of them were as impressive as this guy. Uh, I think when you see how driven he is, how intelligent he is, how passionate he is, um, you're going to be just as impressed as we are. Um, he's as organized as anyone I've ever met. He's thoughtful. He cares deeply about his players, and education and behavior are important to him. Um, he pays attention to detail. He is truly a coach of the future, and he is, in short, exactly what we need for this program at this time. I would like to welcome his wife, Maria, and his daughter, Mila, to the Seminole family. I hope you like the band. Welcome. Very glad to have you. And it's now my pleasure to introduce the next head football coach at Florida State University, Coach Mike Norvell. Thank you. What an incredible day. Uh, I, stand in, I stand before you humbled and honored to be the head coach at Florida State University. Uh, this is uh, a day that is, uh, it's, it's been a wild one. It's been so many emotions, so much excitement, and uh, you know, so many thanks that, I, that I, must, uh, I must pay tribute to, to all those that have been a part of uh, making this a reality. And I can tell you that this is an exciting day for Florida State football, the future, and what's to come. And I can tell you that uh, this is going to be an incredible journey. And I am honored to join us hand in hand, step by step, with all of the Florida State family in helping to take one of the most iconic brands and iconic programs in college football and return it to where it's supposed to be. got to start uh, by thanking God for the opportunity, for providing me with the, the, the passion and the love for this great game. 
I've played football or coached football since I was five years old. It's really not what I do, it's who I am. And it's been a part of that as, as I've grown up from Pee Wee League football uh, to, to coaching in a championship game yesterday. Uh, this game has been, uh, it has been incredible for me. Uh, the good Lord has uh, provided me with that passion and uh, you know, that energy to approach every day with a true heart of service. Being able to serve those that I get to coach every day with and the young men that I get to coach and, and impact their lives on their journey to success. And today, uh, just I'm so grateful for the new platform. What an extraordinary place. Walking across that football field, there are no words. It was breathtaking. The hairs on my neck, hairs on my arm, they were all at full attention. <laughs> this is a special place, and this is a special time, and it is a special opportunity. So I thank God that he's put me here in this position to help impact all of the Florida State family. To my family, uh, to all my loved ones, to everybody that's played a part in, in my growth and, and served and sacrificed for, for me to be where I'm at, I thank you. But especially to Maria and Mila, you mean so much to me. You've been with me step by step on this journey. There's been so much sacrifice for our family because of the job that I have and what it takes to, to be fully invested. To the impacts we've made on coaches, the impacts we've made on players, and the impact that you have made on me. I thank you for all that you do and for the love that we share and what we're gonna do here together. Thank you. <laughs> President, to President Thrasher, David Coburn, Chairman Burr, to the Board of Trustees, to Glenn, this has been an incredible experience. To make a choice to, to, to join this program, this organization, it was an easy one because of you, because of the leadership, because of the passion, the direction, and the support of everywhere, uh, everything that's been poured into this program over the years, but to the excitement about where we're going to go and where we are capable of going because of the great men that are leading this, this university. I thank you for, for choosing me. I thank you for the experience of getting to know more about uh, the, the true heart and soul of this Florida State family. And I can promise you, I'm gonna make you proud with what I do every single day. But thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> to Memphis, what an incredible place. One of the hardest meetings I've ever had in my life was this morning when I talked to those players. And I talked to those coaches. For the last four years, to be able to impact that program, those players, develop a staff, impact a community in every aspect. For all that I poured into that city, into that school, it poured just that much back into me. And if I was to ever leave, it had to be for the right fit, for the right place. I'm so grateful for the, for the four years that I had there, but I know that this is the place and this is the time. So to the city of Memphis and to that program and all the players, thank you for what you did. Thank you for believing in me, to giving me my first opportunity and for, for what we were able to, to accomplish in building that program and, and elevating that program to, a, to an all-time high. I thank you for your work and I thank you for all that you meant to me. To my former coaches, David Reese coached me in Pee Wee League football. To Mike Barber, who coached me in high school. To Clint Conk, who coached me in college. To, Todd, to Gus Malzahn, who hired me as an offensive graduate assistant there at the University of Tulsa. To Todd Graham, who I spent nine years with as an assistant coach and gave me an opportunity to be a coordinator and to, to really uh, live out my dream as a Division I, uh, Division I uh, uh, assistant. The impact that you guys have made on my life in helping, helping build me and develop me and support me through all the decisions that have had to been, been made to my growth as a coach and as a person, I'm forever grateful for you, and you are the reason why I do what I do. 
so that I can hopefully one day have players that look at me the way that I look at you and respect you and the jobs that you did for me in my, in my, in my journey of growth. So thank you to those coaches. To all the, uh, the past Seminoles, all the former players, to the lettermen, I thank you for what you've done. To the former coaches, the work that you put into this program to build an incredible foundation to one of the greatest football programs in the United States of America, I say thank you. We are gonna do something special here because of the work that you've done. To the current players, first thing I did when I got off that plane, I'm sorry I did not rush to come see you. I went to go see them. I thank the coaches for bringing them here and I thank those players for choosing to be Florida State Seminoles. And as I told them a few minutes ago, they chose to come here and I chose to be with them. And they are now my players. They are now our future. And I'm so very excited about standing side by side with them as we take each step to getting back to where Florida State football deserves to be. And that is an incredible group of young men that, uh, that have been, been collected and we're excited about that group and what we're gonna be able to accomplish with them. But to the former players, I understand the responsibility that I have. I understand the obligation. I understand who I represent. And I'm gonna work each and every day to represent you in a first class fashion. And we're gonna do things the no way. And that is, com is competing to be excellent in every aspect of what we do. That's right. And I've got a saying that I like to use because how you do anything in this world is gonna be how you do everything. So we're gonna approach everything with a championship mindset, a championship approach, a championship with championship values of doing things the right way because this program is going back to the top. We're going to take it one day at a time, step by step, but because of the foundations that has been laid, it gives us a great opportunity. So I thank all of the former players. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to thank all the high school coaches in the state of Florida. Thank you for what you mean to this state. This is the most talent rich state in the United States of America when it comes to football players and to prospects. We've seen that over the years with all the former greats. As I walk through the, as I walk through the facility, you see the pictures, the Heisman trophies, the national championships. That all started with our high school coaches here in the state of Florida because of cultivating relationships, building, building young men, that are passionate for success, right, each and every day. I'm so excited about the opportunity of getting to know you, of building relationships. Relationships take time. It takes a commitment. And I am absolutely fired up about being able to extend my arms and, op and open our doors for every high school coach in the state of Florida to come be a part of getting this program back to where it deserves to be. And I thank you for the work that you do and look forward to seeing you here soon. But it is a new day for Florida State. It's a new opportunity. I can tell you that we're gonna bring a new age approach to everything that we do with old school values and an old school philosophy. This is gonna be a program that you have to work for everything. It's gonna be a program that's built of true core family values of service, sacrifice, and respect. Because we have an iconic brand. We have a special opportunity. And it's gonna take each and every one of us to be a part of that journey together to continue to elevate us to where we need to go. As we go in and take this first step together, we understand that it is a special day. It is a special opportunity. And I can tell you that I'm going to give all that I have in every aspect, right, to pour into these players, to pour into this community, to pour into this unbelievable university, to make sure that we're building it the right way, step by step, brick by brick, and day by day. But I'm excited about the new age and the new day in Florida State football and what we're going to accomplish. There's a tradition of excellence here. There is a standard. 
That tradition is what brought me here. That expectation, an opportunity to compete at the highest level, to compete from champ for championships. We understand the process. We understand the work that's going to go into it. But I can tell you, you chose the right man to come be a part and to lead this program because we're going to work on that each and every day in all that we do. I can tell you that this is going to be a program that's built for playmakers. This is going to be a program that is going to showcase all of the skills and talents of those young men that I talked about. We're going to do it by, by challenging them in every aspect to be the best version of themselves each and every day. I can tell you that we're going to have a football team that's going to play with a certain focus, with a, cer a certain pride, understanding what we stand for and what we represent. Our Seminole football team is going to play, play smart. I believe that is one of the most important things that you must do as a football team and a football program. We're going to have a football team that's focused on discipline, on structure, on making sure that, that we are, can be innovative in our approach schematically, but also we have a football team that understands the, the importance of the knowledge that they have. Because most people talk about playing fast, and we're going to do that. But if you don't play smart, I mean, you can play fast going in the wrong direction and you're going backwards. We're going to have a team that understands that our knowledge will be our greatest talent. And then we're going to play fast because the confidence of who we are, what we do, how we train, and the unbelievable skill that we're going to recruit here to be able to showcase these great players and individuals. We're going to have a football team that plays physical. Toughness is going to be displayed every single day. Not only physically, but mentally. You're going to see toughness displayed in special teams. I believe that is the backbone of your program. People can talk about offense and defense, but if you want to see a team that has tremendous culture, tremendous passion, tremendous belief in each other, watch them on special teams. I was fortunate that the, coming from, from Memphis, I remember when I took the job there. It had been 20 years since there had been a kickoff return for a touchdown. I stood in front of that team, and the first thing I told them, I don't know what we're going to do on O, I don't know what we're going to do on D, D, but I guarantee you we're going to take a kick back to, back to the house for a touchdown. Four years later, we're the number one team in the country with 11 kickoff returns for touchdowns because of buy-in, because of culture, because of toughness. Young men willing to give them themselves for the betterment of the team. That's what we're going to stand for. And then lastly, we're going to be a football team that's passionate to finish everything that we do. They always talk about, they remember what you do in November, right? We're gonna finish games. We're gonna finish plays. Our effort will be outdone by no one. We will play with tremendous passion, energy, and we will finish all that we do. We're gonna be a football team that understands how to respond to adversity. We're also gonna be a football team that understands how to respond to success. Because success is coming. There are great days ahead. But we have to understand the, the, the little steps of what it takes to get there. And then what it takes to stay there at an elite level. But that is how we're going to play. That is what we're going to do. And we're going to make you proud at each step along the way. Not only what we do on the field, but what we do off of it. And I can tell you, that I, I, I could not be more honored to stand in front of you. To have this opportunity to be a part of the Florida State football family. I'm gonna work extremely hard every, day, every single day to make you proud. And much like I just told those players, I'm not gonna stand in front of you today asking for your trust. Just give me an opportunity to show you that I'm trustworthy. Give me an opportunity to show you with my actions what we're gonna do, and more importantly, how we're gonna do it. Thank you for the welcome. Thank you for the opportunity. And I'm excited about the future of this Seminole football team. Thank you guys. I'll take, I'll take any questions of, uh, from anyone. Coach, I got you. Yes, sir. We're gonna start with Andy in the back. We do have a microphone, so make sure you get recognized for your question.
Uh, Andy Staples from The Athletic. Uh, Mike, these aren't the first folks who inquired about your availability while you were in Memphis. What was it about this job specifically that, that made you take the leap? You know, uh, whether it's recruiting, whether it's uh, you know, hiring coaches, uh, making a choice on, on my future, it always comes down to two factors, fit and family. And I can tell you that uh, going through that, this process, there's one thing that was certain, that Florida State was the right fit for me. It was the right fit in every aspect of the tradition that it's had, the passion of the fan base, the opportunity to, to, to be in the greatest state uh, when it comes to football talent and, and coaching and all the things that we can do. It's sort an of unbelievable t uh, tradition and former players and support I, with the team that, I, that, I've, that I've had the chance to witness. And this was the right fit for me and my family. And then when you look at the, the opportunity to meet our leadership, you know, after, after getting a chance to meet President Thrasher, I, David Coburn, Chairman Byrd, I knew that, that, that this program was, was destined to greatness. It just needed the, light, the right leader. And like I told them, I believe that this was, this was the, the absolute perfect place for me. And uh, it's, it's why I chose to come and, and be a part of it. To Sean Reed from The Athletic. Um, Coach, obviously it's fewer than two weeks until the early signing period. What's your plan to attack the recruiting trail? Um, I'm, I'm starting right now. And so the minute I get off this, uh, this stage, you know, that, that's all of our focus. Um, you know, it, I've already actually met with two recruits since I've been here, so it's, uh, we've been pretty quick. Uh, got, a chance to, got a chance to shake hands and, uh, you know, and be able to see them in passing. But it, it's, a, it's exciting. It's an exciting time. Uh, there's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of uh, uh, you know, focus on, on, on today. But the reality is, it, it, you know, in recruiting, it all comes down to relationships. And that's going to be something that has to be built. I, I, the, the great thing is I've done it before. Uh, when I took the job at, uh, at my last, uh, last institution, it was, uh, you know, it was a quick turnaround as well. I had about the same amount of time uh, to put together a class. Um, and, and at the end of the day, it's, it's all about finding the right young men. I mean, you look at, you, you look at the young men that have been recruited, the guys that are, that are committed. Um, you know, we're, we're excited. We're excited about what the, what the future holds. And uh, I can tell you that I'm looking forward to building relationships, not only with, with uh, you know, those guys, but, but also spreading the good news about Florida State football and what's to come. Coach, when you take a look at this team, when you take a look at the program, how quickly do you think you can get this program back to that championship caliber? Well, I, I can tell you that uh, I believe that the, the sky's the limit for where we can go, uh, but I also understand the journey that it's going to take. And uh, I can tell you, just like I told this football team, uh, it, every single day, my expectation and our passion will be the best to be the best version of ourselves. Right now, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, you know, my focus is going to be on our personnel immediately, making sure that we can bring with the best coaching staff in college football here to Tallahassee. All right, it's going to be to continue to recruit to, at, at, a, at a high level, making sure we find the right young men to come in and then pour everything I have in recruiting our players that are on campus to understanding the expectations, the values of what it's going to take to get there. And the thing, the thing, I'm, I'm going to put no limitations on where we can go and how fast we can get there. But I can tell you that all of our folks will be on today, being the best, the best we can possibly be with this step that's in front of us. And we'll take care of tomorrow when it gets here, trying to do the exact same thing. Let's go to Ira in the last row of chairs on your right. Coach, Ira Schofield, WarChant.com. Could you talk about your recollections of your first memories of Florida State football as a, as a young man, and then also, or maybe earlier than a young man, and then also perceptions of Florida State today in the college football community? Uh, absolutely. Um, I wasn't really going to talk about this, but uh, uh, as I told President Thrasher, I was 12 years old. I grew up in Dallas, Texas, and uh, there was only one thing, uh, one, one thing that I had on my wall, and it was my first piece of collegiate memorabilia, and it was a 1993 license plate re recognizing the Florida State Football National Championship. This is a program that, even for a kid in Dallas, Texas, has always been an iconic brand. A special place. Uh, this this is an incredible incredible opportunity. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people talk about dreams, and to be honest with you, uh, I don't know if I would have ever dreamed to, to even get this this chance. Uh, but we've worked for it, and we're excited about the the opportunities in front of us, and it's going to be a, uh, a a special a special place for me and my family. Right here, coach. Oh. Uh, Michael Langston from Ward Chant, Coach. Uh, obviously, recruiting is a big part of any program, but 
Um, you have a lot of kids that are committed right now, but uh, they don't have the relationships yet with you. What's kind of going to be your message to these kids, first off? And then secondly, what's kind of your message going to be overall to any kid in recruiting? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, I think when you have such a short period of time, you've got to really rely a lot on um, you know, showing kids how they're going to be utilized, showing them what the opportunity holds. The great thing is, uh, you, know, I, you know, and one of, the, one of the most attractive things about this university is that you can get it all here. You've got a top 20 academic institution in, in, in the country. You've got, a, you've got an incredible place to live. You've got a, an unbelievable brand, fan support, every, every aspect of it. This is where you want to be. This is where you need to be, knowing that you will be showcased at an elite level. Uh, and that's all, that's all I ever, ever tell uh, recruits and, and young men that are looking to, to bring into our program. This will be a program that's built for playmakers. And if they have any question about that, I'm, I've got plenty of film and, and uh, you know, opportunities to show them how they'll be showcased. Right? And they're going to make the choice. They're going to take the step. And then we're going to elevate them to be able to make all of their dreams and goals become a reality because of the way that we operate each and every day. Hey, Matt Baker with the Tampa Bay Times. Um, can you give us a timeline in terms of when they contacted you and how this came together? And do you, do you intend to coach FSU or Memphis in the bowl? Uh, you know, the timeline was, was one that was, uh, it was unique. You know, I was, obviously I was going through a season there at Memphis. Uh, it, it worked out to, um, during our bye week that I had a little bit of, a little bit of time to, to be able to meet up with, uh, with President Thrasher and, the, and the, the whole group. And uh, that was, a, um, that was a, great, a great meeting, a great moment. And uh, you know, being able to go through that process, uh, you know, it, was, it was challenging at times just because of all the obligations that everybody had and the timeline of what we knew that we had to, to get this done to, to be with recruiting. But uh, um, you know, obviously I was excited about the opportunity. And, you know, moving forward with uh, uh, decisions to coach in the bowl game or not, that's something I'm going to actually need a couple of days to be able to make the best decision for that. Um, you know, I had the meeting with, with the young men there in Memphis this morning, and it was very emotional. And, uh, uh, you know, they supported me 100%. Uh, you know, it was one of the greatest feelings walking out of that meeting with those kids standing and giving me a round of applause. And, and I love those guys. And, uh, but we have to make sure that it works for everybody with what needs to be done and what needs to be accomplished for, for, for both, both universities to be able to, uh, to move forward to the best of the ability. Yeah, next questions over there, too. Luis Torres, Orlando Sentinel. You mentioned you want to build the best staff possible here. You've had a history of kind of your coaching tree kind of growing so quickly. What's been the key to your success identifying those young up and coming assistant coaches who go on and move to uh, bigger and better jobs? And have you been in contact with any of your former assistants? Um, I'll tell you, I think, the, I think the, the key component to success in college football is evaluation. And it's something that I, I take a great deal of pride in, evaluating coaches, evaluating players, uh, and then making sure that when you are around them that you develop them to, to really be able to achieve at a, lev a level higher than where they, than where they started. And I've, been, I've been so very fortunate. I've hired, I think it's 26 coaches in the last couple of years. Um, you know, when you look at the, the, the type of uh, you know, men that they are, that's going to be the number one deciding factor, is that I want, I want a, coach, a coaching staff that are teachers first, relationship builders, and then guys that can inspire uh, our student athletes to go above and beyond in every aspect of their, of their life, to be able to live in that, that championship model uh, on the field, off the field, in the classroom, to, to inspire them to be better than what they even think they can be. And so uh, my phone has is, is definitely been ringing uh, you know, off, the, off the hook. I've got a, uh, a great group of coaches that I have been with before in the past, and there are new coaches that, uh, uh, that uh, you know, I think could be a great fit for, uh, for Florida State University. And at the end of the day, this is going to be a process that I make sure that we bring the right fit uh, into, the, into our football family. And I can tell you it will be one of the best coaching staffs in the country. Uh, Tim Linnefeld at Seminoles.com. Just wondering, have you had a chance to look at any games or film from Florida State from the last year or so? And if so, what are some of your impressions? I did. Uh, you know, we actually played a common opponent this year. I got to, I got to, you see, uh, you know, a little bit of that, uh, you know, after they played that game. And then, you know, here towards the back half of the season, you know, I was able to watch some TV copies. And, uh, you know, and like I told the players earlier, I was, I was so proud of them. And uh, to, to, to Odell Hagens, the job that he did, and the, the, what he did in a time of, of adversity for those kids and bringing them together, the way that they played, that was part, that was part of the reason uh, that I chose the, the, these young men and this, this opportunity because you saw them respond. And it wasn't, it, 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 
it, it wasn't easy for them, but it is it is a special group, and I'm grateful for the work that he did. Uh, and you know, I, I see a team that cares about each other, that's passionate. I think there's some things that we're going to definitely work to continue to to improve when it comes to maybe uh, you know allowing us to ourselves to showcase the best of our abilities uh, in the best situations. I think there were some times that we got behind ourselves uh, just from some self-inflicted things. But um, you know, I'm excited about working with this group each and every day, and uh, you know, it's a special group of young men. Coach, Gene Williams, WarChant.com. During the process when you were talking to David Coburn, President Thrasher, Ed Burr, was there kind of an aha moment for you where you said, wow, this is happening, this is where I want to go, it's all clicking in for me? And then kind of secondly, I'm, I'm guessing you probably had some other opportunities. What was it about Florida State that really kind of resonated above everything else? You know, um, I've, been, I've been fortunate through my time as, as a coach to – to be able to meet with a variety of different people. And you always get a feel when you when you leave, uh, and whether it's a first meeting or second meeting, of, of what the true core of a person and, and of an organization. And I'll tell you that uh, the first the first meeting after uh, you got an opportunity to meet with uh, President Thrasher and, uh, and David Coburn, it was, you know, I was, I was so very impressed. I came home and told Maria, I said, that group, they have it figured out. You could sense the passion. You could sense the purpose of what of what uh, is is on the forefront and the importance of Florida State football, not only not only to this school, but for for this entire state, for college football. And that's what I told them: is I want to be the coach that gets us back. I want to be the coach that leads this program. I want to be the coach that gets the chance to, to give college football what it need, what it needs. And that's for Florida State football to be one of the country's elite. And I believe that is possible. That's why I'm here. And, and these men, uh, they illustrate that every single day and what they do. And, uh, and then when Chairman Burr came for, the, I got to meet him for the, 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 our second visit. I mean, it was just, a, just another check mark that I said, Man, this, this is the group that I want to do it with. And uh, I was so fortunate to get the opportunity. Hey, Coach, Brendan Sinone, Knowles 24-7. Uh, with scheme regarding offense and defense, philosophy, I guess, do you have an idea of what you would like to bring here? Um, you know, that's one of the things that I, I take a great deal of pride in is being versatile to the talent that we have. And when you look at, uh, at my coaching career, uh, you know, I tell our players, this is a program that's built for playmakers. It's my job to put them in a position to showcase all of their skills and talents and put them in a position to achieve success on the field. And when we, when, when we go into that, that's going to be a big part of our evaluation of where we are, what we have, and then what we need to do moving forward. It's going to be very multiple. Uh, there were years at Memphis that we, had a, that we rushed for over 4,000 yards. And where we still threw for over 3,000, so that's a good combination. There's years that sometimes you're a little bit more pass heavy than than uh, uh, than, than you are in the run game, but we always want to be able to have balance to showcase our, our student athletes defensively. I can tell you, we're going to attack. It's going to come down to, to a mindset of whether you, whether you're bringing pressure, you're you're rushing for. We are going to have an aggressive mindset. Uh, we've been one of the top teams in the country in creating takeaways and explosive plays. I think we've had over 10 uh, defensive touchdowns in my last four years, and then I touched on special teams earlier. That's going to be at the core of who we are. We are going to we are going to be one of the best special teams, uh, uh, football teams in the country because the time we put into it and the commitment we have to it uh, as a coaching staff and as a football team. You've obviously touched on recruiting a couple of different times and specifically on um, the, the Florida high school coaches. So what's your plan? You, you don't have a lot of roots here in Florida, haven't recruited it a ton in the past. So what's your plan to, to make yourself available and get inroads into this, uh, the pivotal recruits here? Uh, you know, th those are those things that uh, it, it, it takes time. You know, building relationships take time. Building trust takes time. Uh, but it, you, you have to, you have to uh, invest in it. And the only way you get to build trust is by making daily deposits. And that's something that I'm committed to doing uh, with high school coaches in there, with recruits, making sure that, uh, you know, that I am open and accessible. Uh, that's that's going to be one of the top things on my priority list. And then, you know, as we get into to spring ball and getting to know everybody, you know, obviously the recruiting season will we'll be out and being in the high schools. But, um, you know, being able to have open doors, being able to, to, to show what we are and who we are. Anybody can stand in front of you and give you, give you a speech or tell you a story of what you want to do. I want them to see it and how we practice and how we prepare the way that we develop the student athletes so that when those coaches uh, when the kids come to them for recommendation they can trust that this is a program they want to send their, their players to because they know they're going to be taken care of on the field off the field in the classroom and, and really be able to achieve success uh, in, in all of their life.
Guys, thank you so much, and go on. Jeff, did you did you grow up in Pittsburgh?